what happened, tell the jury what happened over that 4th of July weekend that changed your life. I had a severe asthma attack and it was one of the worst asthma attacks I've ever had. I was taken to John Hopkins All Children's Hospital and I think I stayed there for a couple of days if I'm not mistaken. Well, on the day that it happened, did they take you to the ER someplace else? Doctor's Oh, hospital? doctor, yes, yes, my bad. All right, so if, the, if it happened on the 4th then, uh, was it a matter of a couple, three days before you went to Johns Hopkins? Can you repeat that, sorry? Sure. About how many days after you were treated at doctors and after after you had this asthma attack did you go to Johns Hopkins I don't know the number of days all I know I wasn't feeling well okay well, let, uh, let me show you uh, 2529-5 and I'll represent that uh, that was taken on or about uh, the 7th or 8th actually it's got it down there the yeah seventh. the 7th all right what's going on here I am in a bed at John Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Okay. And did you walk in to Johns Hopkins on this? I this believe I was able to walk in on this day, but when I left, I was having extreme complications with walking to the point where I had to be wheeled out in a wheelchair. Well, the jury needs to know how this came on. Uh, you just wake up one morning and bang, you... We were in extreme pain, or how did it start? It wasn't like that. It was pretty gradual, but not in the sense that it took like three months until I had excruciating pain. It was day by day I noticed that there was a pain in my right leg that was just getting worse and worse. So it started in your right leg? Yes. And did it stay in your right leg or move? Unfortunately, or it did move because I wasn't diagnosed for quite some time. Did it move or start moving during this stay or after? In other words, during this, this, was it just in your right uh, foot and leg at this point? At this point, no. It had traveled to the left leg as well. So about how long did that take for it to... Um, it would have been three days then. And so there I they give you something. I know you were very young. Do you remember much about this day? I'm sorry, I don't. Well, they'll have those records. All right, so after this, now, uh, did you go home or did you go to another hospital from there? Well, after this day, I know I went home, but then I was at one point transferred to another hospital. Was that the one back up in? Illinois. You know if you went to back to Johns Hopkins for a visit before you went to Lori's or not? I know I had been to Johns Hopkins a few times, but I don't, it's really hard for me to remember. I was 10. Every hospital was the sure. same to me at that point. Yeah, and the, right, and the jury has the records. All right, so let's uh, publish 2529-19 and uh, tell us what's going on here. This is after I got off the plane that I landed in Illinois. My dad had some of his old fire. Maya Kowalski talking about the start of her journey in the treatment at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. We're going to hit a break and hit that pause button for you. You're going to see all of her testimony coming up next here on Court TV Live. Thanks for staying with us here on Court TV Live. We're watching Maya Kowalski on the witness stand. Her situation became the subject of the documentary Take Care of Maya that's currently on Netflix right now. It's an excellent documentary. And right now we're seeing her real life civil lawsuit playing out as her family has sued Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. And right now Maya is on direct examination. So her attorney is doing the questioning of her and she is very well prepared. She's looking at the jury with every answer. She's very calm, very articulate for a 17 year old child. And she's just getting started with the testimony about going to Johns Hopkins for treatment. Uh, she talked about having an asthma attack right before the break and she wasn't feeling well. Let's go back in together live. And pick me up off the plane and transfer me in an ambulance. 
And then the chief, I believe, um, went to baggage claim and got my mom and I's luggage. So his old firefighter buddies helped out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at this photo here, uh, it doesn't look like you're having much fun. I hate to put words in your mouth. But oh, yeah, what, what's, do you recall any of this? I remember it was a very difficult plane ride. I mean, I was trying to be respectful to all the passengers, but when you're in pain, it's just so hard to stay quiet. All right. Well, by this point, then, about how... Uh, this is what, a few weeks or a month after your, after the onset? Yes. What happened with the pain? Did it stay the same? Did it decrease? Did it increase? It had increased. And where did it increase to physically? Were there any new places or the same? There was new places at this point. It was at my midsection and it was, I don't know for certain, but I know it did transfer to my arms at some point. I just don't know the specific date. When you say now uh, midsection, explain a little bit more. Are you talking about your tummy or your abdomen? Where? Yes, I'm talking about my stomach. At this point, had you started to have problems with uh, any digestion or going to the bathroom? Or was that later? Yes, I had constipation issues, and we later found out that it corresponded to my diagnosis of CRPS. And what happens there with those uh, going to the bathroom issues? Do you mean like how CRPS is connected to it or just... Just physically, how did it manifest? What, what was the problem there for you? I was just constipated and when Miralax didn't work, we had to go to the, the hospital. So did this start right off the bat once you had the pain in the midsection? Um, yes, yeah, I did have constipation. Was it fairly consistent throughout your various stays at Johns Hopkins? You had. Uh, this problem in the midsection where you get stopped up? Yes. Okay. All right. So do you recall what they did for you there at Lurie's? I know that they suggested an intensive physical therapy program, but they also missed the diagnosis of CRPS. All right. So they didn't, at this point, did you know what was really causing your pain? No one knew. And what was the effect on your mom and dad not knowing here you are a month or so after you, you, it manifested, it came on. How did it affect them? Well, my parents were extremely worried, and in turn that made me more anxious because as a kid you look up to your parents for the answers, and then when they look up to the doctors for the answers and they don't even have them, you're just so unbelievably anxious. So you came back home then, I guess? Yes. And uh, did you go to another hospital after that? Yes, my parents had taken the suggestion from the Illinois hospital, and we went to an intensive physical therapy program at Tampa General. About how long was it from Lori's, the hospital in Chicago, to when you went up to Tampa General? I'm sorry, I don't know the dates. Uh, oh, the same summer period? or? Oh, yeah, it was the same. Mm -hmm. okay. right. And how was your pain doing at this point? My pain was still pretty bad. Had anybody approached you at this point at uh, Lori's and, and said anything about this just being all in your head? Or was that, did you know anything about that? Or was this just something you found out later? I found that out later. Okay. And was it in your head? No. Okay. So let's talk about and publish 2529-23. Okay, and where is this? This is in the PT room at Tampa General Hospital. And what are they having you do there? This is a machine that is intended to strengthen your arm muscles. Okay. Uh, how many hours of PT were you doing a day there at this time, if you recall? I don't know the number of hours, but I remember Marissa, the physical therapist, because it's an intensive program, the PT, I believe, was like two to three times a day. And what did they tell you about why you had to do the PT? Well, none of the doctors knew what was wrong with me at the time, so they just assumed that strengthening my muscles would maybe help get me to walking again. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, 
the space you're making here, uh, does that fairly and accurately represent you uh, in pain? Yes, I am trying to smile here, but unfortunately I was still experiencing a lot of pain. Well, uh, had it traveled up to your legs, I mean to, to your arms at this point? Or? At this point, yes. Had you manifested any other symptoms? Now, looking back, you know, not that you knew at the time, during this day, if you know. Um, I can't say for certain, but I believe I started seeing some lesions, and I was very sensitive to touch. I know that for sure. So how was PT for you uh, at Tampa General? It was very challenging. Um, it's excruciating.